If we then go on to look at this uh, mama, two mamas riding together, uh, we find very much the same sort of thing, that the second mama has had a different kind of feather made up and it, it resembles that of the second flautist very much in the actual technique. He's given a flat hat rather than a pointed or tall hat um, and that's the only difference. We then go to the fourth drawing and we find in fact that what Rembrandt has done is he's walked round the subject as he'd set it up in his studio and made a second drawing, this time simply of one figure. But that one figure matches up with the first mama in a way which is quite wonderful, really, from my point of view. He wears the same tall hat. He has a plume sticking out of uh, the same side of that hat. He's wearing the same kind of collar, the same kind of sleeve, the same kind of cape going over his back and he's got uh, a sword which crosses the horse's back in exactly the same way in both drawings. That is, the reality from which it came is the same.